for this type of game, I definitely need brand new shoes. You guys see the all white theme with a little bit of red. And this is going to be a special game. I need new kicks. You guys saw me customize brand new ones last time, but I just definitely need a different one for this game. So I'm going to change my sleeve colors, not only on my legs, but also on my hand. We're going to go with the green color and uh, on the sleeve as well, on the hand sleeve, a green sleeve as well. So you guys see the game that I'm talking about is the Miami Heat. First time for us matching up against them. 29 and 9 record we have a 23 and 17 you guys missed a couple of games that i played but so far i mean last 10 games we've been pretty hot here's the standings we're looking at number five in the eastern conference and if here's the, the western conference as well if you guys have any favorite teams here's what the standings is looking like so without further ado it is time to play in miami south beach an all Eastern Conference matchup in today's game as the Bucks come into town for this one. The NBA on 2K There's a lot of chances to pick up wins here at home. Kevin, this is a team that from day one has validated everything that was said about them coming into the season. I mean, they are a strong, strong ball player. And what I'm impressed with is that they maintain that chip on the show. You know everyone can make it make you lose a good. They still play with an edge. So as we get set for the tip off here, looking at our opponents, this is probably going to be one of the toughest matchups of the season. So we control the ball first. Brandon Jennings finds me here. Mario Chalmers is defending me. And I find Drew Gooden right here. First field goal of the game. And he completely misses that one. So here's Mario Chalmers. He finds Dwayne Wade for the first field goal of the game. Here's Drew Gooden. Drew Gooden gives me the ball. I see him cutting in. I got you, Drew Gooden. And Drew Gooden starts things off by giving me my first assist of the game. So I'm going to take it aside one more time. Find Drew Gooden. And with that pump fake, he gets the defenders to jump and gives me another assist. So you got to go back to the hot hand. Drew Gooden, he decides to dish it back out to me. So I take it inside. A good screen by him, which gives me another two points right there, which makes it four now. So here's Dwayne Wade. Miami's winning 11 to 8. He commits the turnover. I see Brandon Jennings making a fast break. He puts up the layup over LeBron and he gets that one to go down. So we are definitely contesting here against the Miami Heat. And I so far three assists, four points, make it six points now as I take it hard into the paint. So here's Ilya Sova now. Ilya Sova finds me. I throw the pump fake and take it to the rack one more time. And it's another slam cam all over Haslam. And as I go to the free throw line, slightly early, but that one does count. So already nine points. Make that 11 points now as shot clock was ticking down. So Drew Gooden is going to set the screen right here. If only I was good at three-pointers, I would have popped that one. But I take it to the rack. No one was inside the paint as I get that easy layup to go down. But here's the Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade the resets with LeBron. Look at the ball movement they have going here. Haslam takes that mid-range shot. And, uh, you know, so far in the second quarter, it almost seems like these guys haven't missed a shot yet. You know, whenever we make a shot, they always come back and make it themselves. And it's just really frustrating at times to, you know, take the lead on these guys. But they commit another careless turnover. Brandon Jennings finds me as I take that Jordan Classic dunk. It was a free offer for me because of the turnover. And I was able to convert that one. And now I'm going to be headed to the free throw line. Two point opportunity right here. Slightly early. But it does go down. And then the second free throw is a perfect release. So here are a couple possessions remaining in the second half. LeBron James controlling the ball. They have a seven point lead. He finds Cole. And Cole is going to give it to Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade back out to LeBron James. And LeBron. Ice cold right here. Sub-Zero. It should be the opposite because he's on fire. But this guy hasn't missed a shot yet. But then I come back on the other way. Mid-range shot. Something you guys haven't seen all year long. But my guy gets that one to go down here. Five seconds remaining. Dwayne Wade. They're up by seven. Dwayne Wade. What is Dwayne Wade going to do? Dwayne Wade makes a mid-range shot. And that is how we begin the second half. You guys see we're trailing by 11 points. 
but this was the quarter that we're intending you know we're trying to make this comeback so as i knock down my first free throw we're cutting it down to 10 points my teammate grade is on fire right now and now it is back up to nine but we simulate here with seven minutes remaining it's up to six points right here i do a turn around and i get that layup to go down so it's 49 to 53 but of course miami gets a couple of field goals to go down and then this is when i got my assist game going i find brandon jennings right there and i throw a pump fake it gets LeBron James a little bit off his feet, and I find Drew Gooden, my favorite target, cutting into the basket for another assist. So whenever it's working with one teammate, you always got to go back to them. And that is exactly what me and Drew Gooden did in this game. You know, our connection was on fire. And other teammates started stepping up as well as my um, Dunleavy gets another assist for me to go down right there. But here's Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Everybody on him. And that is the story of the game. You guys see how Dwayne Wade, he's reckless in this game. It doesn't matter how many defenders are on him. He's going to get that shot to go down. And that's what was frustrating about the game as I get another assist to go down. So it's still a lot of time remaining. You got one minute remaining in the third quarter. And then we got another 10 minutes of the fourth quarter left to get you know to play so that is why we did not give up here as i get the rebound to go down i'm gonna call for a screen right here drew gooden is right there so why not let's go back to him and drew gooden cuts this one to six points so as we get the last possession of the third quarter i made a bad pass to drew gooden and he's gonna airball this one and that is pretty much it i'm glad we made this comeback before we are headed into the fourth quarter so coach is gonna take me out right here and let's see what time we're going to come back into the game. Hopefully, it's not a blowout situation. But as you can see, my teammates are keeping up with the heat. So far, it's 71 to 75. And now it's 76 to 77. And that is when I'm checking in. And that is when Brandon Jennings is going to get the steal. Pass it right to me. And I'm going to get this Jordan Classic Jumpman logo dunk to go down. As we finally take the lead. And it has been a while. So Brandon Jennings is going to find me with the pass. I'm going to find him right back. He's going to take it into the paint. Do a couple of post moves. And pump fakes as well. As he gets that shot to go down. So here's Brandon Jennings. Find Sanders. Sanders is going to find me. I pump fake. Dwayne Wade. Wade or did, where did, did anybody see where Dwayne Wade went? On the camera. So as I get that dunk to go down, I have an opportunity here to get a three-point play. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, I've gotten my 10,000 career points in this game with that last field goal. And then Drew Gooden, some key opportunities right here. And he misses that shot. You know, we definitely need to take advantage of every single possession as Bosch knocks down that shot to give Miami the lead. So it's 84 to 83. I find Ellis. Ellis converts the shot and we retake the lead right here. And I'm going to post up LeBron. Find Drew Gooden. And Drew Gooden gives me another assist. But here, another th a play right here that pretty much tells the story of the game. LeBron James with my hand all over him. Gets that field goal to go down. And that is how the game has been all game long. Miami just making every single shot. And I'm going to be playing a little aggressive right here. And heading to the free throw line. And I'm going to try to cut it to one point. But my second free throw misses. I try to get the steal. But Bosch is right there. So here is Miami with 135 remaining. We need this stop right here. Here's Dwayne Wade. I'm surprised he's not, you know, wasting time here. He's going to find Haslam. And who's guarding Haslam? Unbelievable. Haslam gets that easy shot to go down. And then on the other way, we get a goaltending as well to cut it back to two. Here's Miami. I don't know why they did not pass the ball to me right there on the steal. But here's Brandon Jennings. He plays it a little selfish here. I'm calling for the ball with two defenders on him. He decides to take that layup. And that might as well cost us this game. So Miami's right here with LeBron James playing the point. He's going to reset. 34 seconds remaining. It's a two-possession game. And I accidentally swatted the ball and got called for the foul right here. So the shot clock is going to reset to 14 seconds. Here's Dwayne Wade. Monte Ellis play close to Monte. Dwayne Wade, what is he going to do? Shot clock taking down Haslam. Haslam knocks down that mid-range shot 
I go into the paint and force this layup right here. So a rookie mistake. But then Drew Gooden, I don't know what he's thinking right there. Misses or gets blocked on the layup. That seems to be happening to us a lot. And then Drew Gooden knocks down his shot right here. But it's pretty much too little too late. We're going to try to foul Mario Chalmers right here. Send him to the free throw line and see if anything is going to happen. But knowing Mario Chalmers, he's going to convert both of these shots right here. And that is exactly what he does. First one goes down for Mario. Here comes the second shot. That one misses. But with two seconds remaining, I'm just going to heave this one up for a half-court shot. And it doesn't matter because we have come up short. Although it was a pretty good effort by my team, we did come up short in this one and took the loss against Miami. But I'm pretty happy with the performance of my guy. 33 minutes, 30 points, only two turnovers, and with an A-plus grade, this was definitely a confidence booster. You did everything you could to keep your team in the game, but it wasn't enough. What are you able to take from a good performance like that, knowing that it came in a loss? I never like losing a game, but even when I play well, there's always something you can pull from it to use moving forward. For one thing, I know I could have done a better job with my help defense. And our defensive unit as a whole wasn't executing the way we're capable of. The good thing, though, is that a loss only serves to fire me up and make me that much more focused the next time we get out there. Feel me?